Do you guys remember the peach stained glass video that we did a little while ago? So we're gonna do another one, but with as many of your suggestions as I can work into a video. We're gonna see if those make it better <laughs> or not. This is just a sheet of maple plywood. Got a piece of aluminum under here. And all that does is keep the individual pieces from falling out. We had some issues with that in the past where they'd fall out and then the laser would hit them and move the whole piece. That's hopefully what we're trying to avoid. it leaves this oily sort of residue behind um, and that actually sticks it down to this piece of aluminum that I've got. Cool, got them all loose. I'm gonna move this. Why I was so concerned? This isn't my first attempt at cutting this out. Here's one of my first attempts at this. It actually looks pretty decent when you look at it but uh, some of these cuts ended up being super thin, like right here you can see because of how it's scaled. And so I ended up scaling it up a little bit on a thicker piece of wood. It had a little trouble cutting in different areas, so I had to kind of adjust the file pieces. And then um, attempt number three, <laughs> the whole thing shifted twice while it was cutting, and I got this sort of wild looking Picasso piece of artwork here. But it just took a while to finally get a good cut here. A question I got a lot in the last video was I should save all those pieces. It's a cool jigsaw puzzle. They wouldn't fit together perfectly without without that. I don't disagree. It looks really neat. The other thing that you might not realize about is that every one of these pieces has a burnt edge on it, so the shop kind of smells like a campfire right now, which isn't horrible, but it's also not great. So yeah, you could totally keep all of these if you wanted to, and I think that's fair argument, but I'm I'm not going to. I don't exactly know what the material is, but I was curious if this leftover would adhere to a sheet of paper. So this will darken up over time. Here's one that we pulled off of uh, the peach one back when we did that in, <coughs> back when we did this one in August. It's dry now, sort of has an embossed feel to it. But yeah, a little interesting, sort of a cool print. We'll let this dry. And the last time I did this, the, the next step was to electroplate the wood and add this layer of copper. It adds a weight to the whole piece. It's going to patina over time. It's just a nice look and it's a nice feel. But a lot of you were asking in the video, could I just use copper spray paint? It would be a lot less expensive and it, it should give us a very similar look. So let's give it a shot. I'd like to thank BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. You've heard me talk on this channel about my own anxieties, panic attacks, and struggles. And I think it's a really good thing that those conversations are becoming more common. The process of therapy works, and for me, finding out that other people were going through similar issues was a huge relief to me. You're not alone, and you're allowed to get help. And that's why I'm excited to tell you about today's sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more affordable and accessible. And that's really important because finding a therapist is hard, especially someone that you're comfortable with. BetterHelp is a platform that makes finding a therapist easier because it's online, it's remote, and with just a few simple questions, BetterHelp can match you to a professional therapist in as little as a few days. 
And if you don't really fit with that therapist, then you can easily switch to a new one at no additional cost and without stress. So if you're struggling, consider online therapy with BetterHelp. Simply click the link in the description below or visit betterhelp.com forward slash Peter Brown for 10% off your first month of therapy. And again, thank you BetterHelp for supporting this channel. That looks pretty good to me. It doesn't have the weight of the copper, but um, definitely has the look of it. In the last video, I used blue painter's tape and it worked really well for keeping the resin in all of these little holes, but it was really hard to get off the back. So a lot of you had suggested that I get some tape that is specifically designed for resin. Okay, I don't know why I tried to cut that with my left hand. Completely rubbish at that. And what we want is good adhesion. Honestly, this blue painter's tape that I used last time was one of the first times I haven't gotten a lot of leaks, but it was really hard to get it off the finished piece. I know my table saw is really flat. Just try to give it every advantage what we can. The other thing you guys suggested was that this would be a good project for UV resin. Now, I've used UV resin once or twice, but never for a full project. This is the total boat that I've got. UV resin's kind of nice. There's no catalyst to add. There's no volumes to change. You just put it in a cup. So we'll start here. All resin has an odor, a certain odor, and I'm really used to the way epoxy resin smells. But this UV resin is completely different. It's almost a sweet odor. It's very strange. Yeah, that's a good color. A bunch of you said to get some toothpicks for these smaller bits, and so I did. And you're right, that works really well. It's weird because I'm expecting a time problem, right? But the resin's not going to cure till I put a UV light on it. It's just going to sit there. I'm not used to that. In order to cure this, all you use is a black light. I have lots of black lights in the shop. It'll be cumulative. Right? These first ones will get a lot more UV than the end ones. I want to do it long enough so that it's set. And then I'll move on to another batch. I added a little green powder in to this blue. And you can see we've got more of a teal now. Alright, so this is my third batch of resin and I'm continuing to use the same cup so I continue to get different color variations. We are in the blue still, it's just a little bit of a lighter blue. Definitely a little different than this, but the same idea. And now we're looking for these sort of darker blues. Yeah, so this is now the fifth color, fifth, fourth color in the same cup. The wax cup's actually holding on for dear life here. <laughs> Please release me, let me go. We will use you too, you are completely useless to us. How's that? That looks pretty dark. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That was close. All right, that was a tight squeeze there. That looks pretty good. Luckily, the cell next to it was already cured, so it could just be wiped off. And toothpicks are my new best friend for this. They're a lot easier than the pipettes were, I'll tell you that. 
I thought the pipettes worked amazing until I've tried this. I hope you all are breathing even though I'm not. I'm not going to breathe, but you guys can. It's completely different than the Princess Peach so far, just in the way that this is going, but I think it's going to work. Oh, right, there goes I'm just filling ball. in the last couple little areas here of the blue-green around the face, and then we can move on to the body. Pinch of blue and some green. It's definitely a bit more green than I was going for, but it is a very pretty color, so we're going to commit to it. I mixed up some more of this dark gray and I'm just filling in some of these edge pieces with it. Let's hit all the dark gray areas. And then we can move on to the reds. And that's just a little too much yellow. So let's add a hint of orange to that. I think that's what we're looking for. I added some of this red that I've had forever, but I think that's the wrong red for the eye. Okay, and then we'll just dirty that up a little bit with some of this battleship gray. There we go, a bit a darker red there. I think that'll look really good. That's the hope that I'm going for is that the dark red will look really good. That is a very dark red. Cool. Small portion it is an important bit. Alright, so that's the dragon. All the dragon bits are done. Now all we need to do is the background. And there's two colors for the background, and those are the last two colors. I just have two colors. Oh, and then the border. I gotta do the border. That's gonna be good. Oh no, that's much more green than we want. I'm having a little trouble with this color as well, but again, based on the colors I have in the shop, this is the closest I've come. We're just going to go with it. It's almost like a lemon cream. Alright, so that was the last color, the black around the border. That's a lot of different individual holes to fill. Tell you what. It looks like a dragon though. I can definitely see him. You, yeah. You might not look identical, but you're pretty similar. So I just came back out here and um, you can see, I'm not sure what's going on, but some of these are curling up. Now it looks like it's only this one color that's doing it. It's curling up on the edges. If I look at the rest of this, I mean, all these other colors look like they're working um, properly. And all I used were just some basic mica powders for the colors. This is the only one that I did a different type of pigment in. It was sent to me years ago by a viewer. 
used it in the past. It works great. It's a super bright white, but I'm, I mean, my best guess is the thing in that doesn't like the UV resin. I suppose if I was being honest, this sort of lemony bit was probably my least favorite, but I was <laughs> selfishly happy to be done with it. Hopefully the, it just comes out. Yeah. Oh, they don't all come out. Drat, I hope they do. It's definitely cured on the top, um, but not, not the way it's supposed to, and not the way the rest of it did. So I don't think that's a failure of the resin. I think that's just, I, I think it just doesn't work with this um, pigment for whatever reason, whatever's in that. Ian, if you're still watching after all these years, maybe you can remember what's in those. What do I do? Will it all just wipe off of the bits that are already cured? If I do something... Drastic. That's too bad. It looks so cool besides that... Besides that uncured, uncured part. That uncured part doesn't look cool at all. Uh, okay. Trying not to panic. There's nothing I can do about it. It is what it is. We will figure it out. We've had messes and setbacks before. That seems like a lot of uncured resin under there. It is Well, that could have gone smoother, I can tell you what. That's, um, tape worked pretty well. Evil Twins giving us the stare down. Based on what's left behind on the tape, I'd say the blue cured the best. And, um, the red and the white areas had the hardest time. And those are both, ha, huh, that's funny. Look at that. Both from this set of uh, pigments that I have from probably eight years ago. The red and the white both had the most trouble. I bet it's something in those pigments doesn't like UV resin. It's such a delicate piece. <laughs> My gosh. Uh, if Mrs. Brown was here, she'd be like, say something positive. I'm positive that I'm totally upset. It, it, of all the pieces to fail, that's the best part to fail because it was the one that I liked the least. We can make some good out of it. I don't want to make any good out of it. I just wanted it to be done. I thought we were already done. I'm going to clean up all this and then we're going to tape it off and then I'm going to mix up a translucent color similar to that. And we're going to deviate from our template. I'm all out of the Total Boat UV resin but it was enough to do this whole piece which was a total of a little over 10 ounces. I do have a couple small containers of just resin, UV resin. I'll use a drop of their pigment as well. All right, uh, that's a really pretty translucent blue. I'm gonna test it before we add it to our dragon, just to make sure we don't have any issues. There we go, that's exactly what it's supposed to do. Okay, cool. So this total is two ounces, which is perfect. That'll make that should be enough for what we've got left. That is a very nice translucent blue, which is what we are going for. It is all filled in and there is almost nothing left in that cup. Are there any of these that are a little shallow? This one over here is a, could use a little bit extra. Use a little bit extra, friend. I think it's going to look better than the, the lemon 
custard thing that I had going on before. Everything's going to be fine. And in fact, it's better. It looks better than it did an hour ago. It looks better than it did when I poured it. It really is amazing how quickly that happens. Resin stained glass with your suggestions. We were going along at a pretty good pace until the end there. We definitely had a, a handful of issues, but nothing insurmountable. Uh, I like the color scheme. I actually purchased this pattern off Etsy. It was for someone actually making stained glass, so it wasn't set up for a laser, but we got a good cut. I really like him. I think he's very cool looking. I'm very happy with that. Uh, paint instead of the border. I think that I think that actually works. It doesn't have the weight of the Princess Peach and it's not as rigid. Maybe we just go to quarter inch plywood and so then you'd pour a little thicker resin and you'd get a little bit more rigidity that way. And visually, I think it looks great. Second suggestion was a tape designed specifically for resin. But you saw in the video how easily this came off. And that was with me under duress without the resin even curing properly. That's a win. Oh, toothpicks! Oh my gosh, toothpicks worked amazing! Toothpicks! Yes! Great! UV resin, now that was my first real experience with it in a project, and I'm sure it's just my inexperience. Any suggestions you've got for me to make that process easier the next time, I would love to hear about it. I will say, I left this whole piece out in the sun after I did the last pour for 30 minutes, and the red that was kind of sticky on the back cured beautifully. So a little time in the sunshine actually makes a big difference. I think it came out really cool. And there's some of these pigments even fluoresce under the black light, which I really like the way that looks too. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, hit subscribe, share it. That helps me out a ton, and I will catch you next time.